for me, there's a kind of uncanny quality about looking at an object from your own life as if you're viewing it a thousand years in the future, right? You're sort of confronted with the sort of inevitability of the decay of the things that you have surrounded yourself with. And simultaneously, there's a, a sort of magical quality about being able to jump into the future and view these things as if you were a kind of future archaeologist. And a lot of the work in this exhibition plays with this notion of a kind of fictional archaeology, taking things that we associate with the present, things that we have owned at a certain point or that we um, kind of understand inherently as part of this moment in time, and remakes them in geological materials. So we have basketballs and footballs and jerseys and jackets that are calcified in crystal, calcite crystal, and blue calcite crystal. This is the first solo exhibition that I've had in New York, and it's also the first work that I've shown in color. I am colorblind through the use of some special lenses that are able to correct partially my colorblindness. I started to explore um, the possibilities for color in the work. When I first began making these casts, there was a lot of trying to coax the material into acting and solidifying in these ways, right? And the material doesn't really want to. Over time, I've developed techniques that allow me to bind these materials together down to the most minute detail replica of the original object. So the material is crushed and pulverized and compressed within a mold to give the form. You'll notice areas of erosion within the works where it appears as if the works are kind of disintegrating or falling apart. And that was kind of a happy accident that I stumbled upon where some of the wax that's used to seal the exterior of the mold actually entered the, the mold cavity and the binding element that I use has water in it and it reacts with the wax to basically cause it not to bind. So all of those areas kind of fall away. The material process for this and the way of the, that the molds are created, it's an invented process that was created here in the studio. The exhibition is comprised of two floors. On the first floor, we're confronted with two column works, a football column on the left and a basketball column on the right, and they appear almost like these balls are suspended on top of one another. When we get up close to them, we notice that there are erosions into the surface of them and they're formed out of this really elegant calcite crystal. On the left and right are a Bulls jacket, a boxer, a New York Knicks jersey, and a mid-90s Dan Marino jersey. There's a Miami Heat jacket in the center of the space and we can read the texture of the clothing in it, we can read the perforation in the jerseys and even the stitching in the fabric. But there is no jacket inside of these works. They're entirely composed of the calcite crystal material. The pieces in the show that sort of imply a figure, the figure has then been removed from that, so you have this kind of ghost-like presence of that. On the lower level, there is a cavern, which is composed of thousands of individually made sports-related balls. They're composed of amethyst crystal. On first inspection, they appear as if they're actually falling apart, but crystal is something that we associate with growth. There's this kind of opposing feeling within the work where you don't quite know whether it's falling apart or whether it's growing together, and it's going to reach like a completed state at some point. The lighting is composed of these cast basketballs that are hollowed out there's a something familiar about, like a campfire, almost, where you have this single source light emanating out. Spatial considerations within an exhibition, and the cavern downstairs is a large gesture. It's a way for a viewer to kind of understand the desire that I have in terms of positioning them in this future moment in time, right? It's one thing to look at these objects that appear as if they've been uncovered on, a, on an archeological site, um, and it's another to sort of feel as if you're entering the archaeological site. This is the first time in this exhibition where I've manipulated architecture with this kind of archaeological idea.